What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Modern Warfare. And today I want to do a best class setup for the Kilo 141. I know I've already done one here on the channel a couple weeks back. This is going to kind of be an updated version uh, kind of from that video. I'm going to try to update a lot of these best class setups as the game kind of moves on throughout this life cycle because we get a lot of different updates. You kind of have to change some of the attachments up and change the way you play the game to kind of stay current with these updates. So we're going to look at this very first class. This one, of course, is going to have the same suppressor that I run pretty much on every gun if I run a suppressor, and that is the monolithic suppressor. That, that gives you sound suppression and damage range. That damage range increase is about 7 to 7.2% 7 increase in damage range from the base variant of the gun, which is pretty good to have a suppressor on because most, time, most of the time a suppressor is going to hurt your range instead of help it. Of course, we get aim down sight speed and aim walking steadiness as the cons. The next thing we're going to go with, of course, is the commando foregrip, which gives you recoil stabilization and aiming stabilization, but a decrease to movement speed. The reason I like to run this particular grip with this gun is it does not have a lot of recoil to begin with. You can use the base variant of this gun when you first unlock it and it has no attachments on it and the gun is still pretty much a laser beam. It has a lot of it does not have a lot of recoil. It has pretty much minimal recoil from the get-go. The next thing we're going to go with is the 60-round mag. Of course, this is going to give you 60 rounds in the clip, but aim down sight speed and movement speed uh, cons. The next thing, of course, is the stiffle grip tape, which is going to improve that aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed, but give you a con of aim stabilization. And last but not least, we're going to go with the no stock attachment, which is going to improve your movement speed and aim down sight speed but give you a kind of aim stabilization and recoil control. With this class, it really competes with things at medium range, in my opinion. It competes with subs up close. And now that the subs are a lot more viable, subs have got a, a buff kind of, you know, with the aim down sight speed, movement speed, all that kind of stuff. I like to try to make classes that have good mobility, even if it is an AR. Before these last few updates, a lot of people were kind of making just turret AR classes, places that, you know, classes where they could just post up in certain places and have kind of laser guns across the map. And you weren't really having to be concerned with anybody, you know, beating you up close. But now the game has changed a bit. A lot more people are running submachine guns. A lot of people have kind of figured out how to play the game. So this really works, in my opinion, if you want to move around and be mobile. And it feels like, you know, kind of an older style Call of Duty weapon from past games where you can just kind of move around the map very easily, be able to ADS quickly, and still be able to take enemies down very fast. Now, if you would not, if, if you're not a fan of the suppressor, you always can slap on the compensator. The compensator and the commando foregrip pair very well together. Now, the next class we're going to look at is still kind of that post up long range class. And even though this gun does not have a lot of recoil, if you're using iron sights, it's still hard to get good target acquisition, in my opinion, at long, long ranges. So let's say something like Ground War, for instance. If I play Ground War, I really like this class setup right here. Of course, of course we're going to go with the Monolithic Suppressor again. This time we're going to go with the 16.6 SOCOM Barrel, which gives you damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, but a con of aim down sight speed. Now, if you want to go with the 19.8 Prowler, you can, but it gives you a little bit less mobility. And, of course, you get aim down sight speed and movement speed negative. So that's why I go with the 16.6. I'm still trying to keep that mobility in the positive. Uh, we're going to go with the Merc foregrip. The reason for this is I know the gun does not have a lot of recoil, but with this particular attachment, the gun really is an absolute laser at all ranges because you get that recoil control. But if somebody gets up close to you, you do have that hip fire accuracy. You have the aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed negatives, which we're going to kind of get fixed here in just a second with the stippled grip tape and the forage tact ultralight stock. This is going to give you that aim walking movement speed back. The con, of course, is going to be aiming stability. With this setup, it feels like the ACR from Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, those kind of days where you can move around the map be able to hit people at long ranges, also be able to beat people at close ranges, and still be able to walk kind of, you know, ads if you need to, peak corners, whatever the case may be. If you're moving around ads you can still move very quickly. You can strafe very quickly. If you do not like the stock and you want to have a little bit less mobility on this weapon, you could drop this and go for maybe something like fully loaded if you're trying to go for, you know, high kill streaks and nuke or something like that in ground war. But I really do like this setup right here. 
Anyway, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. It's just kind of a updated version of some of the weapons I have, you know, or some of the weapons I've already made it, made best class setups for. Uh, but I just want to kind of keep you guys up to date with some of the best stuff you can run on these guns. And these two setups right here with the Kilo are working very well right now in game. Anyway, of course, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. If you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Share the video if you can. It does help out the channel a lot. Click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And of course, check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.